Hi, my name's Matt Dean and I'm going to be demonstrating the FAX Facial Animation Extension for 3DS Max. The aim of this software is to speed up the process of rigging and animating character faces. Before we delve in, I want to emphasise that this software is a work in progress. I'm going to be releasing what I have so far and over time I and hopefully others will be expanding the tools. The rig and UI I'm about to demonstrate is based on tech by Jeremy Ernst at Epic Games for Gears of War 3. If you haven't heard of him, you should check out his videos demonstrating the MyBase tech on which this is based. Once again, before we delve in, if you're not familiar with the principles of the facial action coding system, you should research into it a little bit because I'm not going to explain it in detail at all. Basically the idea is that every facial expression can be constructed by one base set of muscle poses and combinations of them. This is the basis of how this software works. Okay, so first I'm going to show you guys how the rig works. On top, we have the control cage. This is the mesh that controls everything down the rig. Attached to the control cage is a full set of morph targets. Each one describing a different muscle pose in the facial action coding system. This control mesh then drives the locators, these little red ones. The locators then drive the offset rig. The offset rig then drives the weights. And as you can probably guess, the weights drive the character's skin or physique modifier. The locator and weight layers are never touched during animation, but the offset layer can be used to make manual tweaks to your poses. The other element of note is the eye controller. This is pretty simple. Set your character's eyes with a look at constraint to the appropriate eye dummy, then use the eye controller to control your character's eye movements. So now you understand how the rig works, we can look at how you control it and why it's useful. So if we open up the editor, we can see some panels with a bunch of sliders. These sliders control the morph targets which drive the fax shapes on the control cage. By just altering these sliders we can now create any facial expression we want. I'm going to go ahead and make a slight pose here that we can use in the next step. Do. If you find you can't get exactly what you want, just open up the offset panel and start tweaking the weights individually. I'm sure I don't need to tell you how much easier this is than animating facial expressions totally by hand. One final thing to note is transferring the rig. So let's say we've made an expression or an animation we like, but now we want to have the same animation on another character with a completely different facial shape. This is usually a logistical nightmare, but not with this rig. So I've got my pose and I've got a second character I want to put it on. First, I'm going to delete all the mesh from my first character. Right, 
Right, now I'm going to import my second character. The first thing you'll notice is the control cage is completely the wrong shape for this new character. So the next step is to import the template control cage and reshape it to the new character's face. Here's one that I've already reshaped to match this character. Okay, so the next step is to take your control cage which drives the rig Go to the Morpher modifier, go down and find an empty slot, and pick the new template cage which you've reshaped. Crank the value up to 100, and your control cage will now match the new character's face shape. Next, we need to skin the new character to the existing rig. So we want to select all of the weights for the face and for this case with the biped we want to select spine to neck and head okay because I already have saved envelopes I'm just going to load them up And then I am going to connect the eyes back up with the lookup constraints. So we select the right eye. We go animation, constraints, look at constraints, select the right dummy. Then we select the left eye. Once again, animation, constraints, look at constraint, and the left dummy. Now, as simply as that, we hide everything but the geometry and scrub through. We have exactly the same pose that we had on our last character, but morphed to match this character's face shape. There we go. Transferable facial animations made easy. Hopefully, you can make some use out of this. Like I said before, we started, it's still a work in progress. My next step is going to be to hook up the Visemes panel and support multiple rigs in one file. I'm giving this away totally free of charge. All that I ask is if you make any substantial improvements to the tool, that you email me your updates so I can share the new versions with the community. Thanks for listening.